year we have got two new varieties for you to grow. So we've never grown clary sage before and we've never grown poppies before. They are both in the limited edition packets with the cottage on the front. So I'll let you go and grab your seeds from your seed box and then we'll go through each of them individually. I'm talking about them together because they make very good tray partners. So you don't need too many seeds. You can put half your bowling ball and half your clary sage in the same tray. I think these must be the most pollinator friendly plants that I've ever grown. They're just smothered the whole time in bees. How wonderful. And we don't even mind them pollinating the flowers. We want the flowers to go over. This is a seed pod we want. Poppy bowling ball, you will never have seen anything like this before and it is so easy to grow. When I first got the seeds a few years ago, the samples arrived really late and it was too cold in the greenhouse, so I had to start them in the house. Now they germinate and grow so fast that I ended up with a leggy tray of seedlings. So I just brought them down to the greenhouse, put them on the floor and forgot about them. But then, weeks later, I was just tidying up the greenhouse and watering everything and I saw this magnificent tray of foliage of beautiful plants and I couldn't for the life of me think what they were. Then I realised they were the leggy bowling balls. So straight away I knew that they would be absolutely excellent for the growing because they are so tolerant. These are the poppies, these are the bowling ball and they have been here for about a week. That's all. And already you can see they're settling in nicely. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is the only word for it. I cannot believe how much these poppies have grown in such a short space of time. They look like poppies would have done in a Jurassic period with the dinosaurs. They're that big, absolutely huge. Really very satisfying to grow. Seeds need light for germination. So we'll water the seed tray ahead of time. That means that we can place each seed onto already moist compost. And then we don't risk watering the seed tray later and then accidentally pushing the seed below the soil surface and blocking out the light. They also don't like root disturbance, so we will sow them in the 40 cell trays rather than an open tray. They don't really respond well to pricking out. However, if you allow them to grow fully into their 40 cell trays until they create a plug, they then don't mind being moved on into 15 cell trays later this winter and then finally out in the garden into their final positions. They won't even notice that they've been moved. So here we have our poppy seed. There's plenty of seeds in your packet, so I've just got some in my hand now. And I'm just gonna sow one seed per cell. If you want to, you can put two seeds per cell and just put them in opposite corners. It's probably not a good idea to prick them out though, because they might not survive. So you're gonna to need to snip out the weaker of the two if they both germinate with scissors. But otherwise, the germination is very good. Whoops, a daisy, put that one in the middle. Um, the germination is excellent. So one seed per cell should be fine. And they will start germinating within a couple of days. So if you've got any empty cells that you missed, you can just come back and add another seed then. I've already done the top row before I came on, so I haven't missed that one, don't worry. I'm only gonna do half the tray because I'm gonna put the clary sage in the other half. There we go. Don't forget your label. These are our brand new, ginormous poppies. The flowers are lovely. But it's not the flowers that we're after. It's the seed pots that are going to come later. Can't wait to show you. But so far, they behaved beautifully. They were so easy to grow. Planted them out and they grew 
like weeds and now I've got these gorgeous flowers it's like such a bonus so they are going to pollinate our flowers for us thanks very much totally oblivious to me I knew these were going to be fun and I haven't even stopped growing yet. Look, look at that. It's a poppy. For goodness sake, they are so easy to grow. I need to get you the seed, Defo. You need these in your life. Easy to grow and they're just so fun. Look at them. That would be dramatically brilliant for your floristry, wouldn't it? I keep coming back to see if they've got any bigger yet. <laughs> so much fun. Once planted out in the garden, they'll be quite short plants, so you won't have the flower spike yet. But when that flower spike starts to grow, they are going to need staking. Now I find that just canes, just plain canes with garden twine works beautifully. The poppies, once they start growing, the stems are so thick that you can just pop the cane behind the stem of the flower, tie it in with twine and you can barely even notice it. So that means that you can put your poppies anywhere you like in your garden or you can put them together like I do in our flower frames and they've got built-in support so it's completely up to you but they will need support later on in the season not straight away but as those flower spikes grow and then especially as the seed pods start to form because the seed pods are so big they get really heavy so they're going to need that extra support so they don't get blown down in the wind. Fast forward it's now been five days since I started the seeds and if you look carefully can you see they are germinating. Now they are very tiny and you can hardly pick them out against the compost which is what makes them so dangerous <laughs> because if you put them in the house you might not notice how quickly they're germinated and then before you know it they've grown. So I've left these in the greenhouse so the germination will be a little bit sl slower but that means that I don't have to worry about leggy lindas. And frankly, five days is plenty fast enough for me. I've got some garden poppies here. These were just self-seeded. So this will give you a bit of an idea about the standard size you would normally get from a poppy seed head. I'll tell you what, why don't we take one of these over and put it next to our giant poppy and then you can really see the difference. Here we go. So here is the poppy I've just picked. And then this is a new poppy. Look at that. What a difference. That's the poppies all sown. It is plenty warm enough in the greenhouse. They only need about 15 degrees or so. So germinate them outside in the greenhouse. As I said before, they germinate incredibly quickly. So if you do start them indoors, you're gonna to have to keep your eye on them and whip them out so that you've got overhead light as fast as possible so that your plants don't get really leggy. I thought you might like to see the seed pods once they're dry. So best results, leave them to dry on the plant. It's the easiest way to do it as well. And then once they've completely dried out, so these have gone brown, that means they are dehydrated and then you can then put them somewhere cool and dry until you need them. They're absolute whoppers. Now you can leave them au naturel if you want to or you can give them a little bit of decoration, a little bit of sparkle to cheer them up. But they are so tall, look at that. It's up to my chin. Incredible. As always, you can find all the information for growing these beautiful poppies in the current version of the Autumn Jump Starter Handbook or the supplemental pages. I've left these seed heads in the greenhouse 
for about five days now, just to make sure they're completely dry before I take them indoors. And they've lightened up nicely. I'm really pleased with them. So I thought I'd let you know, so you can do the same if you want to. Don't leave them in here forever though, because otherwise they'll get overly dry. Then they might get fragile and start breaking. So <laughs> don't leave them in a winter. But five or six days, they'll lighten up, they'll be properly dry. And then you can take them indoors with confidence. They're not going to go mouldy or anything.